Well, good hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. Hope everybody's having a showing off good Wednesday. But over here in East Central Mississippi, we are in the triple digits once again. What I want to make mention of, if you are new to the channel, I show enough want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, thank y'all for coming back. Well, what I wanted to share with you and y'all today is I made a little progress on the earth bed. Give me a second, we finna walk over yonder, and I'ma show you. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, let me show you. Remember that three by eight raised bed that I had occupying this side of the 40? There it is right there. I'm here to tell you, Lord of mercy, I never realized how much it what work it was actually weeding uh, this side of the 40. Look at there. That's a wheelbarrow full of weeds that I occupied right here. Still have a bunch to go there. Still have something to do here. But hey, I'm working on it. What I'm going to say is I'm really glad that I decided to uh, get an a earth bed going in this, uh, in this area right here. L let me show you this as well. This guy started rotting away. I mean, showing up. Now then again, this raised bed was made out of all reclaimed wood. That's what I had on hand. I used it because I like using reclaimed wood. And it lasted roughly nine years before it started rotting away. So that, that's a good thing. I'm glad I pulled it up because this would have been just a huge mess if it had rotted in place. Now this stuff right here, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's, it's looking good. I'm probably gonna have to make some amendments to it and that's no big deal to get it going. But I thunk on planting something here yesterday I was like, ooh, Lord, I want to make a few rows and plant something, but I'm not going to do that. I need to just continue working on getting the, the cattle panel trellis out, getting these raised beds moved, and getting the rest of this weeded out. What I did do, however, is I actually harvested a bunch of peppers yesterday. Lemon drop peppers are really starting to put on. There's peppers all over this bush, as well as Tabascos, some poblanos, and some, I have a few IEs that are starting to turn, the cherapitas that are starting to turn colors. Got a few starting to, to change colors. And of course, my habaneros. I've harvested a few. I have some that are starting to turn colors. The peppers are really enjoying the heat, in my opinion, and that's a good thing. I'm working on this, y'all, because uh, I sure want to utilize this space in a different way. What I did do over here is I had a bunch of green onions growing in that raised bed right there. So I just chunked it out, pulled it out, and chunked it in the old root stout bed. Don't know how long it's going to stay there, but it, maybe I can put them in a container and get them to grow. All of these raised beds, this uh, 16 by 4 raised bed is coming up. Probably the wood's going to be rotten, but that's okay. I'll have more area to get my grow on. So I wanted to give uh, you and y'all an update on what the earth bed was looking like. I'm working on it slowly but surely over here uh, at the home in the sticks. You got to hit this a lick for about a half hour and rest a half hour because it's just that hot and humid. Sure enough, got to be careful in this heat. All right, y'all, I wanted to give you a little update on what's going on with the earth bed. We're just working on it little by little we'll get it done don't know if we'll be able to get a whole bunch planted in that for the fall garden but at least i'm working on it i hope everybody's having a show enough good wednesday and i hope y'all are having a safe one if you like this video go on and give it a thumbs up they help if you haven't subscribed to the homeless sticks channel lord of mercy y'all need to come on over here give old dan a look because i'm always doing stuff that being said, you know what's coming. Dan Reffer showing up. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. Get your garden on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.